Uh, I told my friends I was going to make a video on some of the snug pack gear that I had recently picked up. I just got back from Appalachian Trail Hike, um, and I had just previously purchased a snug pack jet jungle hammock with the mosquito netting on it that I took up with me into the mountains. And uh, to be perfectly honest, I slept wondrous. Um, actually, that first day, uh, you know, we had dr drove all night to get to the Appalachians. We got there. Friday morning at Fontana Dam, and we immediately started hiking. But we hiked all day, and that night I was I was on E. So you know I, I cooked me up some instant rice, spread out my jungle hammock, put up a tarp, uh, laid my sleeping bag in it, uh, put a mat under that, <clears throat> a rollout mat, and uh, got in there, and I slept like a baby. Uh, I love that snug pack jungle hammock. I loved it so much that I decided to go back and look at some more snug pack gear. And so I had received some recently in the mail, and uh, I decided to change up some of my gear. Part of the reasons for me wanting to change up my gear was it wasn't that I wasn't uh, warm in the in the mountains. I was definitely warm, but my sleeping bag was I'm six foot five. My juggle hammock, um, not my I'm sorry, my uh, sleeping bag, uh, large, cumbersome. On top of that, you got the rollout mat that I picked up at the athletics department over Walmart was. Uh, also, not not heavy, but it was uh, it's 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 cumbersome because of the the size of it. And so I decided when I got back <clears throat> to get rid of the the pack that I was hiking with. It was heavy also, and it wasn't really made for long distance hiking. It was full of insulation and other kinds of uh, materials, probably uh, for some local hiking and camping and stuff like that. Um, but I put it to rest uh, in my local garbage dump, and. Uh, ordered something else online and it came and to be perfectly honest I have no idea the manufacturer of this pack I saw it online a friend tagged me on Facebook <clears throat> I went and I looked at the at the link and it showed me a 70 liter pack um, it was perfect it was like forty dollars forty seven dollars maybe I picked it up and uh, uh, it's a hoss it doesn't weigh anything more than a than a than a Z pack that you might find um, on some some internet sites and some uh, some sto some outdoor stores um, so uh, the gear the snug pack gear that I picked up recently out of the mail I threw that in my pack replacing my old sleeping bag so I'm gonna go rearrange the camera and I'm gonna show you what I replaced and what I replaced it with be right back so this is what I replaced it with a 70 liter backpack um, I love it you know I uh, I got nothing bad to say about it. I wish it did have some more uh, molly straps, you know, in some different locations around the side of this thing. Um, but all in all, I, I fell in love with it pretty pretty much as soon as I uh, filled it up with some stuff. This was the rollout mat that I took with me to the to the mountains. Um, doesn't weigh very much, a few ounces. I uh, I'm getting rid of that in favor of a under blanket. Uh, my sleeping bag, rated for 20 degrees, it served me well. When I, we got up to the mountains, it got to the 20s um, the second night. The first night, you know, it was in the in the mid-30s, I think, through the night. It kept me warm. Um, my only complaint is it's, it's heavy, and uh, it takes up most of the pack. So you can see the um, size correlation there. Uh, um, I decided to go something different. So let me open up Hoss here and show you what I got inside of it. So I've unpacked my Hoss. You saw my sleeping bag. Uh, how much space it would have taken up. Had it been in here, it would have taken up every bit of the space. But I took out, just now out of this pack, I took out my tumble hammock, I took out my hammock quilt, and I took out my hammock under blanket which I'm going to be putting up together here real soon, hanging it from my pergola just to show um, how it goes up and to maybe give a, a review and uh, some thoughts on it. But uh, overall, this material right here weighs less than my sleeping bag did um, with the, uh, uh, the mat that I had to pack with me. It takes up less space so I can take a full sleeping arrangement with me in my bag here and still have room for a stove and still have room for um, some extra clothes, some food. Uh, so that's where I'm at now. So let me get some of this stuff uh, 
uh, break broken down individually and record that for you and show you what we got on the inside of these things. So I had to move from the back uh, pergolary because the wind was ferocious, but and I'm gonna have to go back there because it's not much better up here. But I just wanted to say that people, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos. I did my research, my homework, and stuff to make sure uh, I was making the right investment when I when I did this. Um, and I've heard a lot of people talking on the on YouTube and arguing about what the best sleep system is and different ones think that the hammock sleep system is the way to go and other ones say that the, the tent and sleeping bag system is the best way to go and and uh, honestly uh, n none of these are wrong if the sleep system for a hammock the hammock sleep system works best for you then that's the way you need to go if you find that a tent and sleeping bag works best for you then that's the way you need to go uh, everybody's going to have a different a different answer to the equation um, as, as long as it comes out to a good night's sleep for the individual that's what it's all about you want to stay warm in those cold temperatures you want to stay cool during the, the evening temperatures um, this way works best for me I've, I've slept many a nights in tents and sleeping bags and uh, I gotta tell you um, this works best for me and I'm not saying that it's wrong if it don't work best for you if you like tents and sleeping bag that's the way to go for you I'm just going to uh, uh, open this uh, up right here first, the hammock quilt uh, by Snug Pack, and uh, I'm going to talk about that, and I'm gonna, then I'm going to come over and open up the uh, under blanket, talk about that a little bit, and then I'll open up my Snug Pack jungle hammock, which I think is one of the earlier versions of the Snug Pack system because you see they start getting fancy with uh, with putting their label on stuff and these uh, nice little straps. You know, it's got your your measurements on the end of it. Um, you can cinch. These uh, these straps down. Uh, whenever you uh, reload it, put it back into the the carrying case because um, these both are designed pretty much the same way. Of course, for different sizes, it comes out there. You got your cinch string. Um, you got your sorry. Here you got your sizes right here. You got your your draw straps to tighten things up once you get it back in here. These are not down. This is not the down system. Um, where everything compacts super super small I mean this is pretty small for what's in in here because the sizes uh, open up pretty wide um, but uh, this is uh, snug packs uh, they got some of their own their own material that they use and it seems to work really good um, I can't say that I can I can really I mean this is pretty squishy but I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it any smaller this they pretty much optimized um, the size of uh, the container they can squish this into um, I'd say the same thing um, for the jungle hammock, but uh, I'm going to resort my camera, get into a different position again, open these up, and show you what's inside. My carport right now where the wind is absolutely minimal. I'm going to open these up in the order I said, kind of show you the contents of them. Then I'm going to go there where it's more windy and uh, start putting the, the, the different parts up into the, the pergola. All right, first I'm going to open up my, uh, my hammock quilt just to show you what's on the inside of this thing. Um, as I showed you before, it's got the draw straps. So if I can loosen up these draw straps right here. Let's open up these little buckles. And kind of move this down out of the way. I can grab the draw string right here around the top of this thing. Open it up. Now this is what's going to replace your sleeping bag on the inside of the hammock. When I went up to the AT, I had that uh, that rollout uh, exercise mat as my cushion from the air so the cold air wouldn't come up and make me cold. Um, so that's what I used. But if you were to sleep on something other than, say, say just a sleeping bag, um, then the cold wind would uh, would brush up against your tail when you're trying to sleep. And uh, you have your insulation that you're laying on uh, gets lower and lower and lower. So you're, uh, you have almost no insulation value. Your thermal value is gone because your material that you're laying on is, is squished. Um, the point of this though, this quilt, and you see it's got some little little wings here on the sides. But down here on the bottom, this is where your feet goes. I'm gonna turn it upside down here. It's almost like a little hood. This is where your feet goes. So you put your feet up inside of here, and you're laying inside of your pack or inside of your quilt like this with your feet inside of that okay so your feet stay nice and toasty 
these wings right here on the side, you can just take these and tuck them underneath you if you want to. However you want to do this. The, the, the main point here is that there's there, what they've done is they've cut the bottom. This could normally have been a sleeping bag, but to save on weight, they took the bottom out of this thing completely because what I'm going to show you next with the under blanket is why you don't need this bottom portion of a sleeping bag on if you're doing the hammock system. Remember, it's all about reducing weight. Get that out of the way here real quick. Alright, so right here, got the hammock under blanket. This is the one, and it opens up exactly the same way. This is the one that hangs on the bottom of the hammock to keep you toasty and to protect you from the cold winds. Move these straps out of the way, get to my drawstring, pop this puppy open. Pull that puppy out. This is nice and tall. Like, I'm 6'5. I'm well concealed behind this thing. So, basically, what we're going to do once we get over there and start putting the hammock up is these two will go around one end of the hammock, say the foot or the head, and the other end over here. Same thing will go around uh, the carabiner on the, uh, the head or the foot of the other end of the hammock. And these side strings right here. Will end up being slip knots that will um, go around the tree or the pole or the, uh, the guy line. Uh, however you want to use these um, for additional support. Your weight is not going to be on this thing. It's going to be hanging loosely underneath you. So, get this out of the way. Real quick here, I probably should have chopped these down in the three videos. There might be cutscenes. Um, so inside here, you got your straps. Uh, it's going to go on either end of your hammock. You got some bungee lines here. Now these lines are going to go in the netting, the mosquito netting. Um, I'll show you how to, how to do that when we get over there. And this kind of rolls up on itself. It has an attached pouch. You may have seen these in other YouTube videos. The pouch is actually attached to it. So this is a hammock. It has your carabiners on either end of it. Here's the other one right here. Going to hang up from tree to tree, post to post, however you do it. It's got the mosquito netting, which if you don't want to use the mosquito netting, you don't have to. You can actually turn this thing inside out, flip it upside down, um, put it, sandwich it between the hammock and the under blanket to hide it. So you can use other snug pack items like the, uh, the cocoon. So I'm going to repack these, move them around to the back side, and start putting the hammock system together. Okay, one thing that needs to be said that I didn't talk about was that each one of the items, except for the snug pack uh, jungle hammock that I got, came with a neat little set of information. Uh, for right here, you see that we got the hammock under blanket. It's like a little information packet. Uh, so you can open up and just kind of... Uh, read what it says on there. It says anyone used to sleeping outdoors in a hammock will be familiar with the windshield that can penetrate from beneath. Due to crushing of clothing and sleeping bags against the hammock, which can make for a very cold night. The hammock under blanket is a totally new innovation, fitting snugly to the outside of your hammock. It clearly insulates you from cold winds, giving you warm, comfortable, and cozy night's sleep. And they go on to talk about their 35 years of experience. They talk about the, the fiber uh, material that they, fabric material that they use. To make their stuff, uh, the lining, uh, the antibacterial uh, lining, and the, the travel soft, ultra lightweight, high loft insulation stuff that they uh, they uh, uh, produce for this material or this uh, this package. Uh, down here, we got the one that came with the uh, the hammock quilt. 
and uh, they use the same micro diamond uh, uh, fabric for the outer portion of it and the uh, Paratex antibacterial stuff but uh, these are neat little information packets come with it also uh, for the under blanket it did come with a set of instructions which are uh, fairly easy to co comprehend and follow through I think in earlier versions of the snug pack they weren't sending out information if they were it was uh, small amounts at best but uh, I'm gonna head over now and uh, uh, try putting this thing together in the wind see what happens all right so uh, that's the uh, jungle hammock with the under blanket attached and what I did over here was where the little bungee um, lines come off of this uh, little strap right here I had a knot that I tied right here to try to get this up as tight as I could but ended up putting too much weight on the under blanket itself so I took that knot out and just used the, the previous knot that I had put on there and so uh, uh, that's it um, some things I figured out you could if you got some kind of a system like a little bungee cord or some kind of togs and a rope you can actually take these two uh, pieces right here and uh, and toggle them together like that so whenever you get into a sleeping bag this will stay secured and will narrow the gap for the air that's going to be coming in here um, you will have your blanket uh, inside here with you also your quilt um, over here I got the, you can do the same thing you know just kind of take this and this and pull it together um, but you see the weight it's all bungee uh, material so um, it's not designed to hold your weight the hammock itself is to, uh, just to hold your weight there is another way you can do this you can flip this upside down and just keep the net on the bottom sandwiched between the under quilt and the hammock itself if you don't want to use the net that way if you do that then you can take this and over here on the other side you can kind of do one of these numbers and make yourself a little cocoon and there's one right there and on the other side um, that way whenever you get inside of this thing you can uh, have yourself all wrapped up all the way around um, it's a really great design I cannot complain about about what I got here my investment it's uh, it's pretty neat and uh, what I'm gonna do now is uh, get out the uh, uh, quilt itself and put that inside so believe it or not I'm actually inside of my hammock inside of the blanket not the underwing I'm sorry the quilt I'm inside the quilt and I didn't think it was gonna be tall enough for me because I'm six foot five but I am completely enshrouded in this thing and no doubt it's the reason uh, or the reason for it is because you know the, the curvature of the hammock itself my tails on um, is uh, drooped a little bit my head and my feet are elevated um, but I'm gonna come out of here and just kind of show you something real quick here hi am toasty in here and uh, this is before you know I have uh, even used the, the cocoon options for this thing and I don't have the all-purpose weather shelter which is uh, like a tarp uh, type of a, a snug pack thing I'm gonna purchase next that's going to hang up over me to shelter me from precipitation and from direct sunlight and I'm gonna turn the camera around here let's see what I got going on here so down there, I got my feet are actually inside of that little pocket that I showed you earlier. I just put my feet inside of there, cover up with this thing, and it is taking good care of me. I like this setup. I am not unpleased at all. I almost want to take a nap. Got some sunlight, some breeze. It's been raining for two days straight, and here I am outside. I'm liking this. Uh, I can't wait to get my all-purpose weather tarp uh, or weather shelter out there hanging up over the top of this thing. Um, and I'm also going to try taking the uh, netting, turning it around, if I haven't done that yet, so that I'm sleeping uh, in the cocoon um, situation in this thing, just to see what it's like. Um, I'll do that later. I'm gonna 
lay down for a little bit and uh, and rest myself because this is cozy. And I'll catch you guys later. Okay, so what I've done is I've taken and turned the hammock itself upside down so that the mosquito netting is on the bottom. You see all the way across. I just got the mosquito netting on the bottom and the bottom of the hammock is actually facing up. So now you can lay on the hammock itself. Right here, you can put some and latch those together somehow with some, some, some togs or a uh, stick and a rope or however you want to do it, some little bungee straps. Uh, I only see one on this side. I don't know what their plan is with that. Over here, you got one here. There's not one on this side, but you do have a little latch right there. Also, you got these uh, these ropes that run all the way through these elastic ropes so that uh, I guess you want a smaller person in there you can pull some of the uh, length out falling this on down you can also button up the hatches right here like that so you get inside you can button yourself up a little bit tighter here and on this end over here you button those up right there button this up here and uh, sleep kind of cozy but uh, I guess sort of a strong breeze out here in southern Illinois um, but that's that's gonna be it for now that is a snug pack uh, jungle hammock the snug pack under blanket and earlier I showed you the snug pack quilt and soon I'm gonna be picking up the uh, snug pack all-purpose uh, weather shelter so maybe I'll make another video on that when I get that until then, peace out. Thanks for watching. Give me a like, um, uh, share it, drop a comment, whatever you want to do. Um, let me know if this has been beneficial to you in any way. Thank you.